Hi my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters, Meditations, I'm coming in with the Lenaman. So come and join me, I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and it's an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting likely then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the 3rd to the 9th of August and your first card is the Nine of Wands. Perhaps you've ha been through a heavy period um, but there is an ending coming and you're taking a rest here and gathering your thoughts as to what step you are going to take. Okay, the Nine of Wands. Don't worry, you are stronger than you think. So don't give up the strife or the fight yet. Okay? The end is in sight. Okay. Where there is an end, there is a new beginnings. And you've got the five of bows here. And this is the Wildwood Tarot. And I love this deck. It's really beautiful. And the five of bows is the five of wands. So don't worry. Some readers uh, take it as um, disagreements and arguments, but I take it as the competition. In the traditional tarot, you can see young men joisting with sticks, um, learning how to become knights. Because they're young men, so they are pages. So there could be competition around you, so don't worry. Perhaps there's competition for this new beginning. Let it go, just do your own thing, you'll get there all in the right time and the right order. And competition is good because it keeps us on our toes. And what did I tell you? You're going to get there because you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Again, a nine. So you've got two nines lying next to each other, and the angels are saying, Boom, we are here. We're letting you know this is the end of strife and trouble because you're going into a beautiful, luxurious, or a better phase, a new phase in life. You might be getting a gift, you might be getting a rice. If you haven't had work, then you finally might have the job and you are getting well paid because you can have the life of luxury now you can have more than what you had so great news cancer and you have the great bear and this is the card a great bear the great bear is also uh, what you call it is also an, uh, a star the one of the big the biggest star in the cosmos in the air in the well when when the sky is dark a star the biggest star and that is judgment look at this ghost and he's there as people he is rising from the dead okay so this is the card card of new beginnings or a second chance awesome and the great big bear perhaps it might be when the star is in the sky usually it is around when the full moon and we're near the full moon when the full moon is here then the big bear will show up as well and the bear protects everything that is dear to him so there you go you might be protecting your wealth Ooh, you've got big worries coming don't worry you have a new beginning this is an end and then where there is an end is a new beginning this is a new beginning or a second chance but learn from the past we have the four of pentacles so you might 
this might be a warning that don't spend too much money hold on to some money for a rainy day so that you don't fall in trouble and strife again okay and you don't have to go through hard times if you've been spending too much money now if you haven't been spending too much money open up a little bit and start enjoying life a little bit by spending money on yourself and making yourself feel rich and beautiful do a transformation go and get that haircut or go to the beautician and open if if this is a spiritual advice then open your mind open your heart and solar plex your whole chakras so that Archangel Michael can come in and heal you and clear your chakras by opening up your mind to new ideas and your heart to love and joy and your solar plex to joy you have Archangel Jovial Shamuel Haniel and Archangel Metatron with you so call upon these four angels when you are in trouble and strife besides the other angels the four um, I call them the four angels of the round table Uriel Raphael Gabriel and Archangel Michael they are with you now you've got the eight of arrows and the eight of arrows is the eight of swords again somebody dressing here as in the, if it's winter for um, forcing his way through the harsh winds and storms that is what you have been doing at the beginning of the week and it's there is an ending and if you're not careful if you don't open up you uh, cannot um, you are battling here by being closed up you're not letting love or new things come in and you can't the eight of arrows is the eight of swords you might feel tied up well that's because you haven't got an open mind or an open you haven't opened your eyes you haven't looked around you because he's got to sit there very very stiff and tight otherwise all the coins will fall off <laughs> and in the eight of swords usually you see a woman tied up but the ropes are loose so you can shake them off so in other words take off that blindfold as well because she's got a blindfold off shrug off the uh, ropes you are free to go and walk through between the um, swords open your mind in other words as well the eight of swords is saying open your mind open your sight open to new things don't stay stuck in your mind don't let anything gnaw at you go and ask for help or support or advice that is on Friday now you have the hanged man okay the hanged man something might have been delayed for four hours four days four weeks or four months and you've had time now to think about it and get a different perspective so like I said get out of your mind you've had your time you've seen it from a different you've got a different perspective hopefully and don't look on what is in front of you don't wear blinkers look around you look around you okay the delay is over now okay come out you can come out of the tree or the the hang position because he's got his hands free but they're behind his back so come out and get into action open that heart open the solar plex open uh, your mind and hopefully spiritually because this is a spiritual card it's a bit like the hermit meditation contemplation and evaluation once you've done that you can move on so come into action then you have the ten of arrows 
okay and in this deck it means instruction and like I said if you don't know where you want to go or how to go ask seek help instruction somebody will give you advice and show you how to do it the 10 is an ending but in the traditional tarot it means that you might have back pain or you might feel that you've been stabbed in the back by someone I don't really see anybody specific here because you've got no major arcana um, except for the bear uh, judgment but I can't I don't know uh, any zodiac sign that is attached to judgment okay but you have definitely a second chance at something or a new beginning lots of new beginnings two nines and you've got a uh, moving up from a nine to a ten again endings endings new beginnings new beginnings the angels are showing you nine in nine is eighteen eight and one is nine so think if you see nine 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 or nine nine or nine in itself that is a very very uh, prominent and important it could be if it's not if it's not coming in August um, then it could be coming in September perhaps that could be a message okay nine uh, four weeks okay no no four weeks four months four months that is 12 weeks no that wouldn't be it either okay so something could be coming in September if it isn't coming this month don't give up hope you know just heal let go of the old so you can make room of the new the angel feather that you have is the <coughs> excuse me the blue angel feather now let me have a look um, because I will go in, in into this extensively it is very hot here today and yesterday it was 32 33 degrees so I'm a bit and it's hot again today accept life as it is but remember you are the captain of your life you can steer it the way you want to now you can wear blue you can eat blue fruit and you can meditate on the blue angel feather the angels are here to advise you that you will feel a calming inner peace and peace of mind when you stop trying to control everything in your life and what did I say before I even opened the book let go of the old to let the new in and you will feel calmer because you've left the strife or troubles behind okay and it seems that you are winning or you have won the competition because you've got the nine of pentacles awesome you've got a second chance or a new beginning the blue angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of contentment the angels would like to understand that when you develop the ability to go with the flow you come fully present in every moment of your life by trusting yourself to go with the ups and downs each day and by trusting the angels to support you through your life you will experience a new sense of tranquility the new sense of calmness effectively allows more positive things to come to you boom so let go of the old open up don't be blind it okay don't get stuck in your head okay so that is beautiful and remember blue is also the color of service I don't know why I have to say that but it's also the color of the throat chakra so say what you mean and mean what you say but say it in a gentle way now the overall energy 
from the Linamum is the birds. These are the owls, not the birds, the owls, which is the uh, the, the uh, um, extensive card because there's two birds card, ordinary birds and the owls. Somebody might have left the group or the coop. Okay. Um, somebody mm, uh, like it could be um, it could be a teenager leaving home okay and you might not like that because that is an ending and also strife because teenagers can be obstinate sometimes and yes you feel lost obviously but you're going into a new phase okay and you are going to travel most probably up and down okay you've got number 12 so that means creativeness so creation creative so you will be creative you will remember when a child leaves a house it's not very nice I've um, had that experience twice but they come back to the nest they always do but somebody might have just left the group or left the coop you do have the ten of swords so perhaps somebody did stab you in the back and they left or you left the group now the birds uh, the owls also means uh, official news you at uh, news you will get news but it could also be official news it could also be wisdom the owl stand for wisdom and officiality so it could also be official news if you're in jurisdiction uh, uh, not jurisdiction uh, legal legalities like if you have any legalities you might be getting news official news like that or if you've passed your exam you might get news that you have passed but remember be careful of gossip you've got the seven of diamonds the seven of pentacles what you sow you shall reap and remember only reap uh, sow good things and your harvest abundance wow okay cancer take care and i hope this reading resonated with you if it doesn't have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign as we are not only just a zodiac but we are made out of more planets and zodiacs take care and stay safe and enjoy the week thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao